Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look at your love life for July 2023. I'm pulling a seven card spread. See who comes through your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. I'll find out how they currently feel about you in July. I'll take a look at their behavior and actions towards you in July. And that's an area I'm, I'm going to dive into the most, their behavior. Because let's be honest, if someone's not treating you right, not giving you what you deserve, we should not be giving that person any more attention in the year 2023. This is a year of, you know, not being involved with time wasters. So I'm gonna see if this person's a time waster. I'll also take a look at what's in your blind spot, which could be things that are negatively impacting your connection with someone that you may not be aware of just yet, whether you're doing something unbeknownst to you that's hurting the relationship, or this person is doing something that they're unaware of that's hurting the relationship, or something external is hurting the two of you from being together. If that's the case, I will do my best to find out in today's reading. All right, so let's begin. Spirit, please connect me with Capricorn today for their love reading for July 2023. Who's coming towards Capricorn in July of 2023, please, in love? Two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Cappies. Okay, so the person coming towards you this month, how do they feel about you? We have the sun, major arcana for Leo. Now the sun card is the best card in the tarot deck, all right? It's the energy of feeling happy, feeling optimistic, feeling like, you know, some exciting energy is coming through. However, the sun card can also be telling me that they feel like something is being highlighted in regards to how they feel about you, which is going to affect how they move forward in the relationship going into July right um, it's just telling me that something it, someone's having a sudden realization about something someone's seeing something for what it is in regards to how they feel about you but what that is I'm gonna dive into in a moment so what's their intentions with you the fool major for Aries okay this is a good start with their intentions towards you being the fool I see this person that is prepared to open a door that leads them to you. They've got their wallet, they got their car keys, they got their emotional support animal. They're getting ready to open up that doorknob and walk through that door that leads them to you. Even if there's obstacles up ahead, they're willing to take the risk. Because you see all those mountains up in the far distance? Mountains in tarot represent obstacles that maybe two people might have to climb in order to be together. But when you like someone, when you are curious about someone, when you feel like someone is compatible with you, you will do whatever it takes, obstacle or no obstacle, to be with someone that you care about. Because they make you happy with the sun card. So we're off to a good start. Looks like someone's getting ready to open up that door to you. All right, what's their behavior towards Capricorn in July? The Page of Swords. I like this energy, all right. Now, the Page of Swords is telling me that their behavior is to find out as much about you as possible. You see, the Page of Swords as behavior is the energy of feeling intrigued, feeling like you, you're hungry for more information. What does Capricorn love to eat? What is Capricorn's favorite color? Where did Capricorn grow up? What happened to them in middle school? Did they get bullied or were they popular? This person wants to know all about you. It's information intake, right? So they're, they're, they're probably watching your social media right now. They're probably scoping out your Facebook, your Instagram, going back onto all your uploaded photos, just really taking it all in on who you are as a person because they're excited. This feels like new love. It feels like new love. And if it's not new love, it feels like um, it's younger than 19 months. Younger than 19 months. Now, new love is going to be subjective. For some people, new love is two years. For others, it's two months. And for some, it, it, it could go anyway. But it's telling me that this person is definitely interested in you. Definitely curious about you. Okay, they're, they're watching you. Now let's see how you feel about them. The Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Now, with the Four of Pentacles being how you feel about them, you feel like you have to play it safe with this person. You're not being an open book to this person in the month of July. You're like, yeah, I'm glad you're curious about me and trying to find out information about me, but good luck. I got four knocks protecting my privacy right now. So you may have you know, your social media on private where they're not on your friends list yet, or when they ask you questions about yourself, you give a little, but you don't give a lot. You're being very protective over what you share with this person because you value the information about yourself. 
all right you value your 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 past you value your your memories you value things about you that make you uniquely you and you don't want to give it away to just anybody right i wouldn't want to tell people you know some important things about my childhood if it's going to be some sort of rando that i never see again a week from now no that is reserved for important people in my life right so you're you're coming in with this energy of being very safe with this person not wanting to overshare you know this person wants to open up your safe find out what you got in there so what's in the blind spot? What could potentially hurt this relationship? Whether Capricorn, I said your name so weird. Whether Capricorn is doing it or this person or something external. Temperance, major for Sagittarius. Now when the temperance card comes up in what could be hurting this relationship, it's telling me someone's lack of patience. Someone's lack of patience to just get on the same page with somebody. And it could be your person. All right, you might have a fire sign here that is really um, excited and when fire signs get excited, they just, they wanna go, 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 go. It doesn't have to be a fire sign in their sun placement. It could be fire in their moon placement or their rising, but I'm getting a lot of fire for who this person could be. And when fire signs really like somebody, they wanna go, they wanna, they wanna do things right now and that might not fly with someone like you with the four of pentacles as your feelings because you you want to make sure that you can feel secure with this person and feel like what you're getting yourself into is not gonna bite you in the ass later down the road. You're playing it safe. Because um, when temperance is in my blockage position, I read the energy in reverse. And temperance in reverse is lacking patience, um, lacking um, the ability to compromise with somebody. You know, it's like, Right now, you guys are blending energies together. You still need to figure each other out. You both need to understand each other's love language. You need to understand each other's communication behavior. You need to understand, you know, if this is something that could be compatible for you 10 years down the road. Because if, you, if this person finds out that you want to backpack all across Europe in two years and they're wanting to build a life and a family in their hometown in two years, you're not compatible with each other. And that's what you find out when you get to know each other. All right, something like that. Something like that. What's the potential outcome for the two of them in July? Two of Cups. Well, well, well. Capricorn's getting a nice reading. All right, so the Two of Cups as a potential outcome tells me that you're getting closer and closer and closer to having this life partnership that you're looking for, Capricorn. All right, this connection may just go the distance, but someone needs to drill it back a bit i'm a fire sign i get it us fire signs when we want someone we want someone it doesn't matter if it's the sun placement or the moon placement or the rising if you've got heavy fire influence in your natal chart you want things right away okay but i do feel like there is a divine purpose here a divine timing involved maybe someone needs to switch homes maybe they live far away with that home being there with that contract Maybe someone needs to um, take care of a few things before getting to be with their person. But it, it looks good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive into it deeper, okay? What's your advice first? Queen of Swords. Your advice is to always communicate what you're thinking with this person. They need to know you know, how you feel so that way they don't irritate you the further the relationship gets. Because if they don't know that you are a private person, they're gonna keep prying and prying and prying until you get really ticked off and you like, you know, cut them off. You know, they, they can't, you know, respect your boundaries if you don't tell them what your boundaries are. You know, so I do feel like communication is gonna be your best bet. Some of you guys could be widowers, you could be divorcees. The Queen of Swords usually comes up as that for me in most readings. And if that's not the case, it's telling me that you've been there, done that. You've got the shirt, you've got the cup to prove it. And now going forward, you're more careful with your love life than you were before. Maybe you rushed in the past and now you're like, I'm not, I'm not doing that again. I learned from trial and error what not to do and what to do. And that's also what temperance is, trial and error. You know, with the Two of Cups being here, this is my little spiritual bartender. What am I doing? He's my little spiritual bartender. You through, you learn through trial and error what type of drink you taste or you like, you know, until Archangel Michael knows exactly what the perfect blend is, you know? 
Maybe you thought you wanted a, a Long Island iced tea and you realize it's too sweet. Then you go back and you ask for rum and coke and you realize it's too, too toxic. So then he knows exactly what you're looking for in a romantic partner, a life partner, and he's serving up. Okay, what's the overall energy? The emperor. I'm getting some repeated fours here all of a sudden. Um, and fours do talk about stability. And then there's the eight of wands. So for some of you this month, there could be some travel between you and this person or a lot of texting, a lot of FaceTiming each other, a lot of fun messages being sent back and forth and someone coming in wanting to rein in some control in the situation, right? The emperor is someone that wants to boss up and take control of a situation. And maybe another person's not ready to, you know, give away some of that control, you know? Interesting reading. I hope this is making sense. For some of you, if you're single right now, you may be meeting someone at the start of Leo season, which begins on July 22nd, which is what, 19 days from now? 19 days from now, look at that. It says number 19 on the, on the sun. Why is the sun how this person feels about Capricorn, please? Why is the sun how this person feels about Capricorn, please? The Four of Pentacles. Look at that. What's being illuminated to this person in July is that you are not an open book. And it's confirmed here with your feelings. It's the same card. I mean, this is how they're viewing you in the situation. Like you're not being very like open right away. So they're, they're feeling like you're being very careful with them and they're starting to feel like you don't trust them. So the more that they watch you, Page of Swords, the more they're going to see that you don't trust them, which may in turn prevent them from opening up that door, right? Because if they're thinking, wow, Capricorn doesn't trust me, should I even open up this door to go to them? Because if we don't have trust, that we don't have a relationship. Why does Capricorn feel that way towards me? You know, should, should I not open up this door? I'm ready. I got my car keys. I got my wallet. I'm ready to open up that door. But if Capricorn is going to meet me, you know, at the door looking like this, I don't know. You know, this could all be vice versa. Okay. This is, this is just the energy that's coming through the reading, but it could totally be flipped. This could be your person doing this to you and you're getting a little bit of insight on what, what's going on with them. All right. So let me get another card on this person's feelings for Capricorn. Can I get another card on how this person feels about Capricorn? One, two, three, four major arcanas here. So strong energy coming through in July. Why the sun to the four of pentacles? Why the sun to the four of pentacles? Why the sun to the four of pentacles? The four of swords, aw. Three of wands. For some of you, they feel like you're gonna end up cutting them off. There, there's some fear that they're gonna get cut off here, unless you already did. Unless you already did and they have no choice but to watch you right now. Because the Four of Swords is the energy of, are we taking a break? Are we on a break? You know, because they feel like they're being met by you with a lot of resistance. Because again, this is Capricorn energy. A lot of fours coming out and then the number eight reduces to two fours. So something about stability is playing out in this reading and then there's fours here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six fours. Um, something about stability is playing out in this reading today. Are we stable enough to be in a relationship? Is the situation supporting us building a secure, stable relationship? You know? And then four plus four is eight. Eights are all about changes. Someone's wanting change here in order to feel confident opening up that door. Why does Capricorn feel the four of pentacles? For all I know, this person hurt you in some way and that's why you're a little bit safeguarded. You know, maybe they, they uh, let you down a month ago. Maybe they, they didn't lead up, they didn't like fall through with something and now you're like being very careful. Why the four pentacles for how Capricorn feels about this person? You're worried about being vulnerable with somebody. It's strongly coming through. Maybe people in, the, in your past never gave you a safe space to be vulnerable. So now you're very safe with what you reveal. Why the four pentacles? Ace of Swords. This information that they're seeking with that Page of Swords, this information, because the Ace of Swords is similar to the Page of Swords. So this information that they're trying to seek from you, you got it locked up like Fort Knox. All right, 
this information, you hold value, a lot of value to it. You're keeping it in that, that, that little baggie and you're locking it up. So you don't want to be vulnerable with this person in July and they're going to feel it. And it might set them off to where their patience runs a little thin and they start to approach you with, if you're not letting me in, who are you letting in? That's their assumption maybe. Sometimes we do make assumptions when we don't know what the other person's up to and we start to grasp on the worst case scenario instead of the possible case, case scenario. This person's waiting though. So let me clarify their intentions. Why the fool? You see how a reading can start off looking beautiful but the more I go digging and I discover what's really going on underlining to the situation. Just like my aunt says, if you go to a doctor feeling healthy, let them dig. <laughs> let them dig and do some x-rays and you know, they'll find something wrong. <laughs> I love my aunt, she's so witty. Um, all right, why the fool? Why the fool? Why the fool? The hanged man. Yeah, they feel like they're um, up in the air on whether to open up that door. Are they ready to unlock that door lock? You know, what are they going to expect when they open up that door to you? Are they going to be met with happiness, excitement, sex? Or are they going to be met with RBF? <laughs> I love Capricorn. If you guys know, I love you. But I know how you guys can get when you feel like you've been screwed over from time to time. My best buddy is a Capricorn. Once you screw him over, it takes a while for him to start feeling comfortable with, with someone, you know? You guys take your relationships very seriously and if someone, you know, shows you who they are immediately, you you remember that. You're a sponge. You'll remember it. You'll put every information every time someone screwed you over in that safe and you'll keep it there for safekeeping so that you don't get screwed over again. All right? You guys are very intelligent people. Why is temperance in the blockage? Why is temperance in the blockage? Three of Swords. Someone's been hurt before. Someone's been backstabbed before. Someone may have gotten into a situation that, you know, just knocked them down for a while. And someone doesn't want to get hurt again. Someone here may have been cheated on, um, left for another person at one point in their life, or, you know, thought something was going somewhere and then someone, t like, peeled off a mask and revealed a whole new side of them and someone's dealing with some PTSD. I do have the chariot. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone that lives at a distance from you where it's hard to see what they're up to on a day-to-day -day basis and makes you a little bit apprehensive or someone is worried that they're going to be forcing someone into a relationship. All right, let's get this person's behavior towards you in July. Why the page of swords for this person's behavior? I mean, the image says it al alone that this person wants to communicate with you because you see someone here that works as a radio newscaster reporting the news, wanting to share the news that they receive, you know, wanting to be, a, you know, communicative. So this person definitely wants to communicate with you in July. They want, they want to tell you what their good news is. They want to report back to you their daily life. Why the page of swords? Three of Cups, Cancer Energy, they want to date you. They want to reunite with you if you guys have been on a break. They they want the friendship first and foremost if you guys started off as friends. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. For some of you, there could be a third party in influence. Um, I'm shedding. For some of you, there could be a third party influence because that Three of Swords and now seeing the Three of Cups could tell me that someone's losing their patience and waiting on someone to move forward from a third party. I gotta give you all angles. Give me another card on this person's behavior towards Capricorn. I wanna dive deeper into this. Their behavior shows me that they like to spend time with you, quality time with you. They like to talk to you. Why the Page of Swords? The Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. Someone has been doing some internalizing about the relationship and whether or not they want to put forth any effort. And the Eight of Pentacles is putting forth the effort. Tell me more. Someone here may have self-isolated themselves for a little bit, which may have caused you to start getting more um, skittish about how you relax around them. Like for example, say in June they went MIA and now in July you're like, well, what if you leave me again? Or what if you leave me on red again? Or what if you don't return my calls again? How can I trust you now? 
I don't feel comfortable with you anymore. So maybe this person kind of broke your trust because they stopped, you know, get, being consistent with you in some degree. And then there's the Page of Swords again. Knight of Cups. So I definitely feel like someone here wants to romantically pursue you. They may have self-isolated themselves at one point in time, but they're ready to open up that door and come out and be more social. But maybe your trust with them is broken. Maybe they didn't tell you that they needed a little time to um, self-isolate. Maybe they didn't tell you that they were going through something with their mental health and they needed a little break from being out in the world, out and about. And now they feel ready to come out into the spotlight and be seen again. That could be a message I'm getting also, because the Four of Swords to me can also represent someone needing to take some time out for their mental health. So someone that's slow to respond to a message because they're just wanting to be off of social media, off of their cell phone, and not really feeling sociable. And then the sun, as their feelings is, all right, I rested, I took a little time out for me, I'm ready to come out and see the world again and be more playful with Capricorn. Okay, so that could be what I'm getting as well. Someone may have lost a family member with that Three of Swords temperance and needed time to heal before moving towards you. It could be a plethora of those things. But what I'm seeing in regards to their behavior in July is that they are interested in you, they want to unite with you and date you and get to know you and they're curious about the relationship still. And they're waiting to open up that door based off of how you respond to whatever this communication is. So in the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups the potential outcome for, for Capricorn and this person that I'm pulling in, please, for the month of July 2023? Why the Two of Cups? That's Cancerian energy as well. So it could be a cancer. Oh man, cancers. <laughs> when a cancer is going through something, they will hide from even their closest people. They will hide in that little crab shell and go sideways and under a rock. And you don't hear from them for a while. And maybe for their birthday season, they're coming out. That's if you're dealing with a cancer. Why the Two of Cups? The Strength card, Leo Energy. Someone that may have walked away is coming back around to uh, strengthen the bond of relationship. And for others, your relationship is being tested this month on how strong um, of a relationship you have. How strong are you guys to where you guys can weather any life's obstacles that come your way? Because if you guys can't handle a minor setback in the relationship, then you guys don't belong together. A lot of zodiac signs are getting that message this week where spirits testing how strong you guys really are if you guys can overcome a minor setback or even a major setback because marriages and relationships are freaking hard ask anyone who's been married for over 20 years they will tell you there's been times where they wanted to throw a freaking plate at their spouse you know and it took not wanting to be in jail to stop them <laughs> right? relationships are the pits so if two people can't overcome a setback then what the hell are you thinking about marriage for because the emperor is all about marriage so maybe someone was thinking about marriage and thought maybe I need a little moment to think about this. Why is Capricorn's advice the Queen of Swords? You don't even have to be married to want to throw a plate at your partner's head from time to time, but you still love them. <laughs> Why the Queen of Swords? Five of Swords. If you feel like you're unable to trust this person's intentions or you feel like you have to watch your back with this person or you feel like they're not respecting your boundaries, talk to them first before assuming the worst. All right, because assuming just gets you nowhere. It gets, it gets people into premature breakups that didn't have to happen in the first place. Okay, the moon. If you're feeling left in the dark, speak up to this person. Ask them, hey, are you leaving me in the dark because you don't like me? Do you not see a future with me? Are we not on the same page? Speak up. Communication is key to a healthy relationship. Um, for zodiac signs you could be connecting to, I have Leo here, strong Leo energy. I have Cancerian influence. I have Pisces. I have Virgo. I have Aries but it could really be any zodiac sign. Oh, and Aries. I think I already said Aries. Now, if you're in recent no contact with someone right now, Capricorn, let's see how they feel about you in July. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, Capricorn. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below of this video. If this reading did not resonate, do check out my recent most all signs, rewind, my most recent all signs reading and click on the Capricorn timestamp. That video will be in the description box. And I'll check back with you next week. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. 
I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. Being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. And letting you down was the worst decision I made. All right, Cappy, that's for you. I love you. I'll check back with you next week. Until then, later, Gators.